Hey folks, this is JW, Stephen's Family Outdoors, and uh, I'm headed down over the paddock here where the uh, goats and the ducks go down to the pond down there. I noticed yesterday that, uh, start off with, we have four, four ducks, and uh, yesterday I noticed I could only account for three of those ducks and here it is in April so I sort of thought well maybe it's sitting lay some eggs in the setting here and that'd be good that way we have some little ducklings in a month or so but I said well I'm gonna go ahead and walk around I checked all the way up around the barns and everything didn't see her so I started circling around the area here and as I got up to the top fence where we've caught several fox and um, coons and stuff up there where they'd come in and get my chickens, I went up through there and I found uh, the duck feathers and a patch of feathers with blood on it. And then under the fence, they had went ahead and dug out where I'd closed it up and took the duck out the other side. The feathers are strode, strewn scattered whatever you want to call it on the other side where it went through the fence and took it off to uh, have supper so i'm headed back up to that same gap right now and uh, set a snare for the critter we did notice uh night before last that my dogs which i have mountain curs and plot hounds <clears throat> that my dogs we're carrying on for a little bit and of course we get up and shine the flashlight out but my bedroom is on the other side of the hill and you can't really see anything down here and by the time I actually got up and started shining the light they the dog shut up anyway so we're headed up to the uh, top up there to set this snare and just for the record I am nuisance wildlife control operator in West Virginia and Maryland so I can do this um, I'm certified to do this so nobody be fretting out or freaking out um, <clears throat> they are predators that's correct but I'm a predator also and when they start taking my livestock um, that sets a precedence for me to act and I'm going to act so we'll see you up at the uh, site Hey folks, here we are at the site, and I'm going to try to show you this on this GoPro. I didn't bring my Canon over because it is on the hillside, and I thought maybe I could get this done with the GoPro. I want to sort of show you the site where they... There's the duck feathers all down through here. goes up through and there you see under the fence and then over there that leaf's on top of it they can shove that leaf all the way and if you look on over through there you see some more duck feathers up through there so i'm going to go ahead and try to set this camera up so you can see me doing this here so we'll be back with you in just a minute Okay, so I hope you're down here at the site and hope you can see this here. If you can, I'll go ahead and post it. And so if you can, I won't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. Now, my name tags are on all of my extension cables. I don't put them on my snare because I don't set a snare without an extension cable. And all my extension cables have my name tags, which makes them legal with the states. And the breakaway system, 250 pounds or so, in case a deer would get its foot in it, it can pull out. You know, you have to do all those things. 
Okay. Okay, I just fastened my snare onto my wire to support it, support wire. I'm gonna put it down. Of course, you can see I got this snare loaded pretty good. So that ought to pretty well. guide him into this. Okay, so we'll see what happens in the next day or so. Of course, I'll come back in the morning check us out and every day thereafter so we can catch this culprit i'll keep you posted okay folks what i'm doing here now i'm going to get on this side because of the sun i'm walking down my fence line to see if there are any more uh, big unders where these critters might get in. I used to raise white tailed deer years ago, and that's why the fence is so high. It's an eight foot high fence. Of course, you know, a coon or, or a bear or a possum for that matter. Could easily climb over it. But in this case, I'm suspecting fox. The reason I say fox and not coyote, though we have coyotes over here, and I caught one down at the bottom, if you remember that video, uh, the hole that was coming under the fence was probably the size that a fox could slip through. I'm thinking the head of a coyote would have made it, made the uh, opening a little bigger in his body as he skirted under the fence, put his legs flat on the ground. I believe he would have uh, moved a little bit more of the debris. See if I can get down this hill without slipping behind in. Okay. I'm not seeing anything as of yet, so. Of course, we saw the feathers up there, so. I know that that's where this culprit came in, but we need to, uh, we need to try to keep any other from coming in any other place. Okay, here is the opening on the outside of the fence where they come under. If you look, you can see some feathers, but that is more fox size at, at the most to me, or a coon going under. I don't think it's coyote size, or everything would have been pushed away. Okay. Well, folks, this is what, <laughs> and there is a little lady right there. We had four ducks and a goose, now we've got three ducks and a goose, and we're headed over 
the hill here to check the snare this morning. This is day two of our checks. So we're headed over here. We'll get back with you. Okay, folks, this is day number two of um, checking the snare for this duck killer that I assume is a red fox. As I told you earlier, I think uh, the hole was too small. The dig under the fence was too small for a coyote. And... Uh, I gotta watch myself, I don't fall and bust my can. And these slippery leaves. This is Saturday. And as I said, this is the second day. Second check. So we're headed up here. Stop and catch my breath. Okay, we'll have one up here. Oh, I see something. Looks like we've got some success here, folks. There's the culprit. Last night, or I say this morning, about uh, about 3:30, I heard the dog really carrying on. So I jumped up, got the red flashlight. I shoot a red beam. Shine all around up through here. Didn't see anything. Didn't see any eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of him and we'll sit this back and wait for uh, family members if they want to come over and try their luck. Good deal. It's a female. Now I was hoping it was. Right, I'm going to go ahead and set this. Uh, snare back. What I'm doing here, folks, is just protecting what is mine. Um, we've caught coyotes down at the bottom that I was afraid would come and start killing my goats here. And uh, so we have to protect what is ours and uh, do it within the confines of the law, you know. And that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this Reset this snare the way I do it. This is the extension cable wrapped right around the tree And I'll take the end of it stick through my snare swivel Then I'll take the end of my snare Stick it through The extension cable loop Hold it back up and intertwine the two this way And I overlap it so that it um, has a swiveling action. So the swivel will go around. Then I'll get about an 8 inch loop. And we'll put it right about in here like this. Stick it in my stabilization wire, pinch it down tight, 
And there you go. We're all ready for number two. And that way I get to uh, protect my livestock, my livelihood, my egg layers, my ducks. Uh, and I know there's a lot of folks look and say, well, they're just predators. They're just doing what they need to do to survive, as am I. I'm top of the food chain here. People need to understand that, that uh, the Almighty put it that way. Uh, the supreme predator, mankind. Have a good day. You're watching Stephen's Family Outdoors. Mm -hmm.